If it's okay, let me ask you a couple questions about cryptocurrency. Uh, you've had a few opinions about Bitcoin over the years. What are your thoughts about Bitcoin today? Its role in the global financial system and, and just in human society in general? Well, the evolution of Bitcoin over the years is one of the things that has uh, um, in, influenced changes in my view. Um, it w has proven itself um, something like 10, 11 years ago. Imagine the programming of this, and here's the, you throw it out, and that's the idea. It has not been hacked. It has um, um, operated, it, it has built, it has come an amazing way um, over that 11 years to be um, maybe uh, probably the most excited topic among a lot of people um, and has been used and, and is now um, has obtained, you know, the status of having imputed value. At the same time, it is one of those assets that is an alternative money. I think we're entering an era where um, there's going to be a competition of monies um, because of the printing of fiat money um, and the dep depreciated value. There will be a competition of monies um, and Bitcoin is part of that competition, but there'll be many monies, not just crypto monies, but uh, there'll be central bank crypto monies, um, but there'll be uh, different kinds of monies. Um, and even monies um, are things that you buy and sell. NFTs can become a, a money, uh, a type of money. You own it and it's an investment and you could say, I'd rather own it than own uh, Bitcoin. And Has uh, Ray Dalio bought any NFTs? Not yet. Okay. Um, <laughs> but um, only uh, only just because, like, I I definitely want to buy a NFTs to just experience them. Yeah. You know, like I think think I should produce one. Yeah. And I should. Uh, I should have asked that. Have you made? Have you minted an NFT? You probably should just to know what it's like. Yeah, that's right. This stuff is happening. Yeah. This stuff is real. Okay. And how it operates. But like all new real things, um, some are going to go and some are going to, you know, it's like in, in uh, the internet in the year 2000, um, you know, pets.com could have been a great, but yeah. maybe pets.com doesn't make it and who knows. That's the beauty of the competitive system that will evolve and some things will be treasured and some things will be uh, trashed. So, um, um, but when I look at it, um, I think we are in an environment of you know what is an alternative money? A money has two purposes: a medium of exchange and a storehold of wealth. Um, and we are looking for, uh, um, and it's portable, and you can, and it's best if it's recognized in other countries. Um, so gold is one of those. So I look at it as an alternative gold, but I look at a number of things as alternative gold. Um, and I think that, and I think, and gold is still my favorite because of certain qualities. For example, um, you can't trace it. In, in Bitcoin, you can trace who owns it, where it's going, and, and so on. Governments can have that ability to trace it and so on. A gold piece of coin, it's, it's not connected. I think not connected has benefits, particularly in a world where maybe connections can be more risky. Um, so, um, and then also gold has been, um, for many thousands of years, universally recognized as a source of money and central banks. It's the third largest, uh, source of money in central bank reserves. And I don't think Bitcoin is going to serve those types of purposes and so on. So for various reasons, I prefer gold to the other, but it's a little bit part of my mix. But then you look at it, it hit, I think, 69,000 this year is the high Bitcoin hit. Do you think it's possible, you mentioned gold, do you think it's possible it reaches very high numbers, like 1 million that some people talk about? I don't, I don't think that's possible because the way I look at it is there's a certain amount of, um, certain amount of it. And there's a certain amount of gold. I'll use gold as a benchmark. 
the amount of it is worth about five, uh, uh, about one trillion dollars. Total crypto is about two point two trillion. But let's say Bitcoin, uh, it's one trillion dollars. If you take the amount of money that is in um, gold that is not used for jewelry purposes and not used by central banks, and I assume Bitcoin won't be used for jewelry purposes or central bank purposes, um, that amount in gold is about $5 trillion. So right now, if you were to have a portfolio that has um, gold and crypto, um, gold and Bitcoin, it's worth about 20% of the value of gold. Do I think it's going to be uh, worth more than gold uh, in terms of that mix? I don't think it'll be worth more than gold, but let's say it became worth as as much as gold. I don't believe it will be. I think the 20% sounds kind of about right. I really don't know that what the right answer is. Um, and then there's the question of what is all of that pool of money that let's say gold and gold equivalents relative to everything else. Does it go from, you know, let's call it six, seven, eight trillion to 16 trillion? Maybe it could double. It depends what it is in the world environment. But basically, if you use gold as a measure, I um, there's no, it just makes no sense that it's going to be used um, th- that much more. Am I sure about that? I'm not sure about anything. But logically, it seems to me um, that there's a limitation on its price in relationship to other things that are like it. 